have already investigated the Loker Laboratory. As you were told, there is a high possibility that the crystal will be there. To secretly build a research facility in the depths of a ruin. How very bold of them. Is it really that bold? It could just be my imagination, but I feel like it's pretty common to hide things in obscure places, like ruins. The Loker Laboratory is where the Thimble Winter happened. And even now, it is still shrouded in severely cold snow and ice. Even if it is merely for the sake of camouflage, to actually use such a place for their headquarters. I am very surprised. What was that Thimble Winter thing again? Didn't I explain that already? It was an accident several years ago. The Devils lost control of the crystal, and it froze the area. Come on, man. Put it on your thinking cap. Oh, yeah! She did tell me something about that before. At the time, the story was about the crystal, so I completely forgot about that part. She forgot everything except for the crystal. Typical Shin. to only think of a crystal instead of an entire accident. In any event, if the enemy's fate awakening crystal is there, we must muster all of our power to destroy it. Lord Shin, Jupio, these are your orders. Infiltrate the Loker Laboratory and destroy the enemy's fate awakening crystal. Understood. I accept this mission. I shall give it my all. Thimble, huh? For some reason, Ariel doesn't seem like her usual self. She looks a little fidgety. Is something wrong? Not at all, but I'm sure that means the Celestia is also going to come close to that area. That's a little... Do you have bad memories about that place? Or is it polluted from the accident? It's not like that, but... No, you just not like cold temperatures. Got a problem with that? When it's cold, I get headaches, and I can't concentrate. Nothing good comes from it. It should stop existing. Wow. A devil who does not like cold temperatures. So, in other words, she's completely cold-blooded? You don't have to go that far. Which reminds me, the lab is pretty warm. I figured it was warm from all the machines that are running, but I guess she hates the cold. Lord, as long as he and is waiting for you, I can definitively state that your actions are going to decide our fate. I am terribly sorry for sounding cliché, but I want you to do your best, no matter what. We will also do our best to help you. Understood. I'll do my best. There is no way I can fail this next operation. I better make sure I'm fully prepared, even more so than usual. Mission 10, Freezing Shout. What, is somebody's breath so cold that it freezes people? It's cold. Thanks for that, Captain Obvious. You know they told me beforehand? The Locker Laboratory really is a world smothered in ice. Sir Shin, are you all... I just... I am terribly sorry to actually sneeze in enemy territory. What do you have to apologize for? Since it's this cold, I think it's understandable. However, this is strange. The Devils should consider this facility to be an important base. I cannot believe there are no guards. Could this be another trap? If it is, will I be able to protect everyone this time? Sir Shin. Are you thinking about what happened last time? Yeah, I am. I was wondering what I should do if something like that happens again. Well, if the crystal is definitely here, they won't be able to blow the entire area up without destroying the Fate Awakening crystal. We have determined that the real crystal is there. However, since that happened before, it is best to be extra cautious. After all, there is still Phyllis to consider. We do not know what she might have set up. Let us brace ourselves and go. That's right. She's crazy and, as I've seen, has no problem with blowing up her allies in the surrounding towns. You never know what kind of hand she's going to play. 
I've got to be super extra cautious. Is the reason we're the only ones who are going this time because it very well could be another trap? That is one reason, but it is also because the number of angels who have recovered enough to fight is extremely small. You progress deeper into the frozen laboratory. You better entertain me! Alright then. Looks like we should do some extra preparations. But before that, greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smiling Twitch 4 and welcome back to the more of the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. Last time, we went through our subconscious in a dungeon and followed the Leticia girl, the one who said she's trying to awaken us, I believe, and uh, actually fixed our awakening crystal. And then we woke up and basically just had a big conversation, a whole reunitation, which was... Uh, admittedly extra funny on my part. Uh, I'm not sure how it's awkward for you guys, but I honestly found it quite enjoying. Anyway, today, as I said, we are going here to the local laboratory, the area of the Fimble Winter, and most likely another trap. Oh, and also, Ian is waiting for us. So we better get ready for an enormous beatdown of epic proportions. But before we do that, Make sure you guys hit that like button on this video if you're enjoying the series so far, and as always, if you're new to the series and the channel in general, make sure you guys have subscribed. And now that's taken care of. Why well, do you say we do ourselves some last man preparations? First things first? Uh, customization. We do not need to equip anything yet. Alright. One devil and one angel. Gotta work on the devil a bit. Let's see what we can get. We can get ourselves HP, defense, ooh, a new skill. Ah, Dark Shot level 3. I actually can get that. We could use Increased Dark Shot. Anything else? Let's see, so now we can get Defense, HP, Defense, and more Defense. Basically just a lot of Defense. But I think we should worry about the Angel Form's Defense first before our own. Attack, HP. There's not a lot of Defense, is there? I guess we might as well tackle this so we can't get some Defense later on. And get ourselves a new skill, the Sky Wave Cutter. Attack all enemies standing next to you at once. Okay, and there you have effect move. Definitely gotta work towards that. Proceed onward. Yep, yep. Now for the item boost. We can't really do anything for a here, that's unfortunate. But, however, it looks like we might be able to combine these two. Nope, oh, never mind. What about this shop? Is there any more revived gems that we can get? Yep. Always necessity to have the refined gemity. Oh, what? Oh. I forgot that we filled up our space. Oopsies. Hmm. Do I want a broad sword? That has a, an attack of 10. Well, what does our thing have? Let's see. Wrap your little 10 plus 15, so that kind of be pointless to buy, actually. Shop? Or not shop. A uh, storehouse. I'm gonna switch some things around here. What do we have that would be useful? Provide gem is always useful. I don't see like how using the two destroyer gems in one area. Crime pill that might be helpful. I don't know what critical pill does. Intuitionally. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess I'm not gonna need that either. And I might only need one apple. Don't need. Oh wait, a level. Oh. I'm actually level that up right now. Item boost. Katana with attack of 10. Give it the, the rapier treatment. Attack plus 60, baby. Alright. And I'll just go equip that real quick. Katana. And can we change the skill that it has? The ability e jag gem. I forgot that I actually equipped this later on. Boost damage to swift enemies. Alright, hold on. And also one that I had that I liked a lot. Now the combo jag gem. This is also helpful. Gain a chance to make two attacks. So we're lucky if we can get a double hitter. And that could also help with the end. So I'm gonna put that right now. Anything else? We can... Gain a chance to weaken enemies. Oh, what? Oh, it doesn't need two slots. Okay. Anything else? I might as well bring in the agility jack gem then. That's where I shield. Emitting hex gem. Plus a dash from emitting enemies. Anything else? Nope. And we can't change the skill on our ring. Yeah, we can't. Okay, then. Anything else that we need in the shop? Alloy shield. Yeah, plus seven. Wait, doesn't our thing have that? Act how shield. Has a defense of 
Let's see. Let me check the storehouse. Max House Shield has a base of defense of 9. I think. I'm honestly not sure. Chinese halberd, we can't purchase that, we're kind of out. We might need a medkit though, that, you never know about that. I'll bring ourselves a haste pill. Sleep gym, eh. Most likely I'm not going to use that. Alright, that should take care of things here. Let's do a quick save and get move on. Alright, best thing crystal. Let's get ready for this next fight. Hopefully, he yeah, won't be too difficult. And if he is, well, hopefully we'll find ourselves some good items along the way. So now it's time for the dungeon. Mission number 10, The Freezing Shout. 10 more floors. Let's see if we can survive this. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so so far just angel no enemies, nothing too big. Hello. I remember you. I didn't realize you. I didn't. He's not just me. Give me your HP, boy. Yes, nice. Oh. Paralyzer potion. No convenience. Oh. Oh, yeah. I can see everything. Paralysis spring might not be that, but who knows. Okay, so we're going the opposite direction, then. Let's go. Go up. Go on up. Anything over here. Hello. You did not just do that. Nice, nice. Okay, going up here. You guys now open up? That's good. That's good. Please don't be a trap. Oh, you just a, a cheater trap. That's uh, quick impact. Okay, now this guy back. Get back! Asking that anymore. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, right. Oh, hello. Is he really in a soccer ball? Oh, no, that, I think that's a pin. Eh, I don't even know. Light armor? I need to kill the angel. Two hits. Takes him down simply. Stop that. Give me your HP. Let's see. We only got one of these, so we might as well save that off later. Let's let us recover up a bit. Ow! Thank you. Freaking heck. Yeah, come get me. Nice. Devil. Ow. Temptation. Temptation is strong. Uh oh. I'm running out of power. Not good. Please take me down quick. Uh oh. Oh man, I'm dead. Oh no freaking way. Did I have anything good? Uh, give me. Where is it? Med kit. And I'm dead anyway. Never over my advice, then. Okay, thank you, off quick. Yep, running away from you. Ooh, a large med kit. Hey! Okay, now you need to stop this. Oh, come on! Oh, please don't hit me again. I am not dying this early on. I refuse for that to happen. Good here! It just kills me. You know what? No. I'm not gonna let that happen. I, I, I'm not gonna let that happen. I refuse to let that happen. I'm giving up. Yeah, yeah, I'll lose all my items, so what? Dungeon field. I'm not wasting two gems because of that. I'm going to cut from right here, and I'll see you guys back when we reach this dungeon. 
That surprisingly did not take me as long as I would expect it to. Well, I say that now, and she's right here. I think I'm gonna get her. Is that you? Goodbye. Uh, but yeah, we got a packet. You came out of nowhere. I am God, and you will praise everything that I do. Oh no, not you. Okay, boy. Hey, see you again. Ow. Go down and I can heal. Okay, no, no, it's over. Oh. Oh, haste. Up there. I'll have that on. Go that up. Peace out. Have peace in the scene. Please don't wake up. Oh yeah, more haste. That's it. That's it. Look at my awesome big power. Okay, apple, apple, apple. And again! Happens again! And again! Poison me! Yeah, you come here, buddy! Oh, my spot. I did not mean to do that! I also did not mean to do that! I'm gonna switch over to here! Uh, I have wasted some HP and SP for that! Okay, God says right! Also because there's a demon there! I knew it! I don't know why I risked it, I just did. Let's get rid of it. I knock you back. Nice, nice. That's why I've got more experience now. Oh. Hello. Hello, lady. You wanna slash me up? Then come get me. That's good. Nice. 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 One more. Haste! Oh, wow. A haste trigger and then a slow trigger right next to it. Does anyone else think that's kind of redundant? Ah, the double effect? We sleep pill, definitely. Can I switch that out for something? Ready to have skull shield. Oh yeah, I forgot to grab the skull shield. It's gonna have more defense and I'm gonna make sure to equip that at the beginning of the next episode. Alright, kids. So what don't I need? Do I really need another apple? Here. Winning. Let's use this up. There we go. Now it's not actually going to waste. Oh, oh that's... Oh! I didn't see that coming. Okay, where am I at? That was cool. Yeah, here first. Why did I not switch over? Okay, got lucky. Bye-bye! Nice! Nice! Okay, so probably wouldn't be something useful. Katana, we've already got that equipped. Do we need another one? In all, in all honesty. In all honesty. Not one the floor, so we use that. Even though we have all AC units recovered. Ow! Paralysis! That really did nothing there. Oh! A frost vampire? Okay. Very cool looking, but at the same time, not very good. Usually different color variations mean different strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, I'm really just following this guy. Okay, we're taking you on, good. Go get it. Let's go. I need a lot of healing I can get it. I'll do that too. A paralysis injector and a poison injector. That is not a good combination. Okay, that's healed up, that's healed up. And I'm going to get to him. Without him realizing it. I'll get switch over here. Just to make sure I'm not getting it. Bye. Hello, devil. Thank you, thank you. Excuse me, you're in Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit, I forgot to change. 
always just mess me. Nope, not again. I do not like being mind control. Okay. Go over to the left here, that'd be great. No, that's just the... Uh... Oh, you came out of nowhere. Right. So fight. Alright, if this is the case, come on, please be down here. Get out of nowhere as well. Crit cold, still not enough damage. Okay, I'm running. I did not mean to use that. I was... I thought I had light slice automatic. Oh boy. Okay. Can I come over here? Come on. Nice. Okay, come back here. No! Nope. I didn't mean to run into him. No. No. Goodbye. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Hit. I don't even know what that is. Ooh, come on, buddy. There we go. Next floor. Wow, I am glad I did that. I'm not glad that you're here. Okay, Gilra. Macy. <laughs> Level, level up by one when used. I mean, rank goes. Those exist. And yeah, let's see here. How close are we to our next level? About two thousand six hundred. How much do we get from from the thing in enemy? Two hundred thirty. We've got a long ways to go, but I think it takes ten thousand to get to another level. So I'm going to switch that out for something. We do not need two. Poison rings. I don't see why we would. Okay. Hello. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. I said goodbye. Man. Whatever your name was. Marianella. Oh, so we have actual name men. Er, names. And what's over here? Explosive bottle receive fixed damage when used, and we receive fixed damage when we Oh man, not the soften tiles. Why soften? Uh oh. Not you. You again, you demo. Yeah, please. Hey, oh. man. Why can I demo not, man? Oh, uh, no, what's this? Terror accessory, don't want to risk that. Or number eight. Okay, what's your name, buddy? Oh, this is Vampire Earl again. I guess it's just that for different genders. Perhaps. I don't know how it works. We're gonna go to No, I'll just take care of this guy right now. And then one of our weapon is that love work. Let's save us a, a bunch of time. Bye, good grief. Why did that happen? No matter, can I do this? Oh, no. Back foot, back foot, get out of here. Basically, get out of here. You know what? I'm gonna use this. I think I have it. Do I still have it? Yep. Come on, come on. Where do you come from? You came out of nowhere, I swear down. Uh oh. Please, please, please. Okay, fuck him. Before I die... Apple. Dude, 903 from next level, that's good. Oh, and we got ourselves another leveler. Oh. Gotta get, do some double synchronization. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, you do not. I'm confusing, Jim. Yeah, be confused. No, he still controls me somehow. Get over here. I can slice you to itty bitty pieces. Come right, Phil. Oh, that is too close. 
too close for comfort! Oh, you, you're in you're back here. Great. Who's gonna have much damage, though? There's 20 XP. So close, I just wanna use those double over less. I, I don't even care if you use that. Okay. Anything? I'll slash you. He's just as well. Oh, hi, you're dead. You wanna come here by me? No, no. I'll show you for yourself. Hey, you, you get back here. Dude, don't go. That's right, I want your EXP. Okay, one more enemy. Perfect timing, buddy. You came at just the right time, but I'm at it. I'll stop at least in a second. Yeah! Yeah, level up. And now use both of these. Where are you? You have two levelers. Where are they? And let's see. You have 4,000 to get to the next area, so... Oh, level up. Now use the other one, wherever I put it. Stop by two levels. My HP is increased. My HP is not. I'll have recovered more or at HP stuff this time. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Ah oh, man. Dude, this could be a perfect place for grinding out those. If I ever struggle in an area, I can just come back here, buy some vampire girls, and get ourselves some lever levelers. That'll make things a lot easier. I don't have to make you a slightly easier press. I don't actually have to do the full level up. A slashing spear. Ooh, level 12. Done deal. I'm taking that out with me. Nothing here. I see an item. Another slashing spear. Wait, did I just say spear? I mean spear. I've got a team. Oh, Harden! Too bad it doesn't last forever. Cause that'd be awesome if every town did it. Hey, you're here. I slice you. You slice me. And we end this badly. You. You and Jim. Is there a place in the one that I lost? Yeah, those are gonna be helpful for the future. Can't wait to use those little... Basically just rare candies in this game. Oh. Alright, yeah, explode. Thanks for the explosion. Not explosion. Hey, yeah, hey, you're old, buddy. Hey, Bounty Boo. How are you? That's nice. Nothing for me? You're a disgrace. Oh. I'm about to say, did he just run me? And now he's come back. Out of vengeance for his fallen brethren. He is too upset. Nothing there. To the left. Nothing there. I see two of these guys. Yeah, the sleepy one should be much of a threat, even if he is awake. Right? On the other hand, he won't be a threat if he's any control moves. But you cannot, so thank you. Oh, uh, probably going the wrong way. Go up, right, down. Nope. Okay, where have we be headed yet? Ah, here we are. And there's the portal. We're on the next floor, so I assume the next floor will be here. I guess we better be ready then. Let's do some quick healing. SP is pretty much full enough. I don't think we have to worry about AC. So let's just move to the next floor. Yep. No music. Everything's cut off. We're right here. We arrived at what seems to be the deepest part of the laboratory. Unlike the frozen surroundings that I've seen up till now, this place looks exactly like the laboratory we saw last time. Yeah, they use the same picture too. Look at that giant crystal. This definitely appears to be the real crystal. Sir Shin, over there. As I look over, I see the shadow of a human. He's standing atop a mountain of dead devils. As he notices me, he slowly walks down the mountain toward me. I've been waiting for you. As have I for you. Are you the one who killed these guys? Do you really have to ask that, Shin? That's right. If anyone gets in my way, they will be dealt with, no matter who they are. That is my code. His code of death honors. I see. No wonder there were no gods. You know. I have long sought to face a strong being such as yourself. An opponent against whom I can use my power without reserve. I shall give you my gratitude for once again giving me the opportunity to fight you. I too have grown in power. I won't be defeated. 
Yeah, don't wish I can get this yourself, buddy. There they are! Intruder alert! Another devil? As I turn around the devil, the crown starts charging toward us. Bad move on his part because wait for it. It appears they will not allow us to destroy the crystal so easily. Oh, I thought he was going to attack him. Leave them to us, Sir Shin. Please deal with Hien. Okay, that's time for personal vendetta. Manuel and Jupiel move to engage the devil ambush. These devils should be of high status. Against them, even these two. Please focus on defeating Hien. It will be all right. We will not lose. Again, don't make crosses that you can't keep. Don't get carried away, you damn angels! They start crossing swords and devils that should have called for enforcements already. We'll definitely be facing more enemies. But I can't go help them right now. That's not what she wants from me. I turn back to face Hien. Whoa. Why don't you change into that form? That form? What do you mean? Well, this is very anime-like. The form you showed me when we first fought. Come challenge me with that strength. That is your full power, correct? You're wrong. That isn't my full power. That power is wrong. Power obtained solely for the sake of power isn't true strength. Then for what reason do you seek power? There's someone I want to save. I only want to use this power for the sake of someone else. Now that I think about it, before I came to Celestia, I would never have said that. Even though not many things happen to me or make me feel this way, I'm glad I came here. I've still managed to change in little ways. I can't thank Jubiel and Ariel enough. Power for the sake of others? Nonsense. Power is used for your own benefit. Do you really plan to fight me using such false power? It's not false. If you don't believe it, then just shut up and come fight me! Let's end this. Fine then. Forgive me for being undignified. Now, let us proceed and give it our all in this fight. Bring it on, Inugami. Let's dance. And of course, he's not gonna be any harder, gonna be any easier than last time. So it's time we finish this off. Okay. First things first, we're gonna throw on a haste. Yeah. You never know when it could be in handy. Also, I'm gonna equip myself with something. Ah, yes, a hard, hard pill. Ah! Cover some AC and give me a better defense. Do we have everything we need equipped? I think we do. SP bottle, everything in SP is filled. Let's see here. Anything else? Anything else? Let's try to throw this at him. Yeah. That does nothing. Alright then. Increase defense. Angel, increase attack. Now let's go for it. Open door. Come at me, yeah. Show me your true strength! You call yourself an angel? Or a devil? You're pathetic. That's all you are. Alright! All HP heal. Yeah! Nice, nice! Done yet. Light armor. Uh oh, the mind lost us. Here it comes! Almost finished me up. I just got a nice slice. Oh, you like it? Stand corrected. Oh, oh man. Oh, I guess. I just did it my fault. Oh, <laughs> Game over again. We have become victorious. And now the war is over. On you, buddy. And we didn't even need a retry. That's a good sign. Did I? 
defeat him? You did. You really beat the snot out of him. Did I defeat him again? He did cross right in front of me. I... I finally... I won! I really won! Yes! I finally won! Ha <laughs> ha! That's for a schoolboy now, isn't it? That's what I call true human power. Hey! You still haven't destroyed the crystal yet. If you have time to celebrate, then hurry up and do what you came here for. That's right, we should probably get to work. I know that. You know, still in the middle of a mission, I end up drowning in victory. I don't usually do that. I gotta destroy the crystal. As I step forward the Fate Awakening Crystal, a group of monstrous people tear through the walls and enter the room. Who are these oh! guys? What the heck is that? Oh! oh. That's freaky. Even freakier than Shin's devil form, the full thing from last time. The slow deliberate steps, these guys start surrounding us. So oh. Shin, sister, what does this mean? I think this means the world's ending, cause- Oh my god, that's so freaky! Please be careful. They could very well be new weapons that were created by the devils. That's even worse! Trippy and Mario meet up with me and ready themselves in case the surrounding monsters attack. What are these guys? They don't even know! They don't know either? Uh, I'm terrified, man. I'm scared! Ellis! <laughs> I've heard that voice before. It's you again. What do you plan to do this time? <laughs> Looks like you haven't learned your lesson about reading my lap yet. Which is definitely it. Confirm it crush. Lady Phyllis, what in the world are they? Yeah, this shed some light on this, because these guys are freaking me out. I can use you to find confident in you. Please wait, Lady Fi Without even being able to finish his plea, the devil is crushed by the monster who came near him. Even your own allies do not matter to you. You shall receive divine punishment someday. That devil should have been a pretty high status. Despite the fact that he lost his focus, he was killed instantly. Do not get distracted. Are you actually gonna fight these guys head on? I know, even though they only look like monsters, they're not normal monsters. I turn to face one of them, without even a single word it raises its arm to attack. However, it attacks with a pretty long swing compared to Hien. <laughs> it's easy to avoid. I dodge its arm and once it stops moving, I swing my fist with all my might toward the side of its torso and... Yeah! What the heck was that? What the? Did that be a scream? This is even freakier. I can't help but jump back from the sun's scream. It seems the monster's body is softer than I expected. So my fist pierces its skin. Stop! Please stop! It hurts! I don't want to die! Is that? What are these guys? Why would a human voice be coming from this monster? Oh no. I think I know what this is. I think I know what these are. These are the rejects from the Fate Awakening Crystal. <laughs> are you having fun yet? How do you like the beautiful chorus of the Nephilims? The Nephilims? Phyllis! What in the world are these guys? I've got it. These are the results of the failed Vile God experiments. I knew it! I freaking knew it! Didn't I say... Didn't I just say... Vile God! These are... The Rejects. The Rejected Fate Awakening Crystal Humans. That's right. They are Vile Gods who couldn't withstand the intensity of the crystal and lost all control. They are the Nephilims. Beings of almighty power, ready to destroy anything. That's, least, if that's what I think it does. But even so, their human consciousness and sense of pain still remain. So we have to actually kill them. Our own human breed. Oh, what's wrong? If you don't hurry up and kill them, you're gonna be the ones who get pounded to death. <sighs> no, no! Please don't kill me! Oh man, that one echoed through my ears. Why? 
Why did I end up like this? I beg of you, please stop! Why is it that the man voices are piercing through my headphones? And I'm not even using them as to actually hear all this. Anyway, they sure are a bunch of crybabies. Hearing them scream so much like this totally makes sending them out seem worth it. Maybe I should rename them the Screaming Wild Gods. <laughs> oh, Phyllis is ever so clever, don't you think? No, we don't think it is clever at all. There's nothing funny about it. To actually turn innocent people into these? How long are you going to mock people until you're satisfied? Did you even have to ask that question too? Sir Shin, I understand how you feel, but please stay calm. If you lose yourself to your anger, she will be getting what she wants. I know that already, but... <gasps> oh, that's right. They may be imperfect, but they're still vile gods. They have as much raw power as he is. They can punch through angels. Wonderful. What am I... What am I supposed to do? They were turned into vile gods against their will. Their consciousness is even still intact. Ariel, do you have any solutions? Like a way to stop the vile gods? There is one. All you have to do is to kill them. Pull out their crystals to be specific. It's simple, so don't even think about it. That's it? Ariel gives me a cruel solution. What Ariel is saying is... Are you telling me to kill humans? They are no longer humans. They're vile gods. They're minions of the devils who are trying to kill you. You have to wipe them out. But... It's not like I don't mind killing as long as I'm killing devils. I ever subscribed to such an idea, I would no longer be God. i just end up being a crazy murderer. But... Kill humans. That's... Ah! Jubiel? Jubiel! Uh, I... I am alright. It was just a flesh wound. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more than a flesh wound. It's no use. If I can't stay here, Jubiel and Mario will only get killed. I beg you. I have no means of stopping them. There's only one way to set them free. At least... Let them die without suffering. That's right. I also want to create the Fate Awakening Crystal. Because of that, something like this is happening. She even bore the pain for Puyo and for me. It's not like she doesn't feel responsible or anything. And I... I've got to release them from this fate worse than death. No! I stab my arm into one of the Nephilims. I'm aiming for the Vile God's heart like place. I dig my head toward the center of the body. I touch something hard. This must be the Fate Awakening Crystal. I grab onto it and pull it out of the Nephilim's body. Damn it! Reddish black blood drips from the crystal that I pull out. I also see part of an internal organ dangling from it. <laughs> this is disgusting, man. This is too disgusting. <laughs> Why? Someone Sir Shin! It's fine. These guys don't defend very well. So you can defeat them in one shot if you aim for the crystal. Sir Shin, but... These people are... I know, but we have to defeat them! If I could save them, I would, but if we don't kill them, they'll kill you and Mariel! And Shin as well. It's breaking the fourth wall, but still. Also, this is the only way I can set them free. I have no choice but to do this. Shin. Don't, don't come near me! Ah! No! Please stop! Don't come near me! You murderer! One by one, the Nephilims come out to attack me, and one by one, they scream as I kill them. Defeating them is easy. Unlike Yin, their movements are much more lax and simple. I didn't even have a problem with facing three at once. No! No! As I pretend to be detached, suppressing my emotions, pretending not to hear their screams, I go ahead and dispose of all the Nephilims. Final one. HELP! ME! It's too late, buddy. I'm sorry. If we could save you, we would. 
But this is to protect our friends and to end your suffering. Poor kid. Sir Shin. Shin. Forcing you to perform such a painful duty. I'm sorry. At least you weren't giving me a choice for that. Just, I don't even want to know what would happen if we had to choose not to fight. No, I was not the one who created this situation. The one I should be mad at, the one I should blame is... Phyllis! I will never, ever forgive you! <laughs> I never even considered giving your forgiveness. Mostly because you're gonna die here anyway. A new troop of Dells take up positions around the crystal. She probably sent them while I was fighting the Nephilims. They sure were a great way to stall for time. This is your reward for withstanding those freak shows. Die here! Uh-oh, not again. Relying on my anger, I make a suicide charge toward the devils. I mow de down the ones who try to intercept me. I am straight for the crystal. You damn idiots! Didn't I tell you to protect the crystal? Oh, just because they're guarding the crystal doesn't mean they're gonna be protecting it, Phyllis. He is too mad to do anything or let anything like that happen. Oh, the bright light. I attack the crystal head on like a fragile piece of glass. The crystal easily shatters to pieces and it crumbles to dust. And goodbye, Awakening Crystal. Lord, Jupio, we have no more business being here since the crystal has been destroyed. Let us retreat. You are the woman. Let's fall back. Fall back. He instilled... We must focus on our retreat for now. Our objective was to destroy the Fate Awakening Crystal. We have accomplished that. You bastards! You better not let him escape! If you do, I'll feed you all the crows. You better be prepared! They have crows down here? With that, our battle against Phyllis's remaining forces begin. We focus on our achieving, we try to escape while the Fate Adels who are trying to stop us. The fighting's getting intense. I assume their reinforcements have arrived. Jupiel, how's your wound from earlier? She was attacked by a Nephilim, which we were told has as much raw power as you. I'm worried about whether or not Jupiel will be okay. I... I am fine. This is nothing. Hey, don't push yourself too hard. Wouldn't it be better to rest for a second so that you can chant a healing spell? It's rare for Ariel to worry about Jupio. Don't tease me. You're still on a battlefield, you know. If there's any possibility she might slow you down, it'd be best for her to recover. Unfortunately, it appears we do not have the luxury of that much time. The extraction point is just up ahead. You only need to withstand it a little more. Yes, sister. Ah! Jupio! Now's my chance! Die! Distracted by the sudden explosion I have goals for, Jupio lets her guard down. One devil takes advantage of the bomb by rushing toward her. And the small knife closer is hit. I can't wait to see her in time. Jupio! Watch out! She finally realizes that she's the one being targeted, but it's far too late. The Devil's Knife reaches straight for her torso. Mario locates in front of Jupiel to block the attack. Suddenly, the knife plunges into Mario's torso instead. Sister? Mario! Knocked down by the force, their bodies fall face up. A spray of blood pulls over their bodies, and the icy floor turns red. Big sister! Big sister! <laughs> By the time I defeat the devil who attacked Jupiel and get a chance to approach Mariel, her face is pale. You must not let your guard down. You never know when you might get attacked. B big sister, please do not talk. This is... this is... Listen well, Jupiel. You are... Big sister! Sister! Jupi, shouting there isn't going to help. Hurry up and bring Mariel back with you. Jupiel, Ariel's right. We've got to hurry up and go back. Yes, big sister. I shall save you now. Please get a hold of yourself. We're safely able to escape from the lab itself. 
you know Jupiel and I aren't seriously injured. The real problem is with Mariel. This cannot be happening! Don't worry, we will save her. I'm gonna make sure of it, but first, I'm gonna take care of this. I level up CB. Oh my! I forgot about that. Uh, we'll do it at the beginning of the next episode. Right now, we're in the middle of an emergency. Come on, to the event. Go, go, go! We gotta save Mariel. Her wound is no longer life-threatening, but she still hasn't regained consciousness yet. Oh, thanks, Celestia. Ariel handed the emergency treatment when we returned. The other angels in the medical room was, were surprised, as was I. Miss Ariel, thank you very much for accepting the job of treating my sister. I made my deal with Mariel. It'd be troublesome for me if she died. I always seem to forget that Ariel is a prisoner in Celestia, and that she made a deal with Mariel to be treated as an equal. Well, it's not bad enough to the point that she'll be absorbed by the Engine core. Probably. Probably? It better be absolutely. Big sister, it is all because I let my guard down. Well, as long as she continues to rest, I'm sure she'll wake up eventually. Though she won't be able to speak, you should be able to see her. I see. Thank you very much. Big sister. Or Jupio. Even though we were finally about to get some relief for once, since we did shatter the enemy's Fate Awakening crystal. What are you saying? You merely crushed one of the enemy's high-value targets. You mustn't be relieved by something like this. She's right. Even though there was an uproar after destroying the Ami Magic Refinery, it's not like that ended the war. In all honesty, the war might never come to an end, no matter how hard I try. At least... That's the way I'm starting to feel. Ooh, I'm tired. Just as I figured. Researching the crystals in my warm, comfy room suits me better. Therefore, I shall return to my room. You should be tired since you just got back. So, just get some rest if you feel like it. With that, Ariel, Ariel goes back to her lab. I don't want to get in Jupiel's way, so I decided to kill some time for the time being. I sit down on the bench at the plaza, staring at my hands. Even though I was told they weren't human, I attacked them, who had human consciousnesses, with the pure intention of killing them. But now, I realize I didn't feel as much pain as I thought I would. Maybe because... I just got unused to taking someone else's life through all of my fights with devils. Whether I like it or not, I've been forced to accept that I am no longer a normal human. Even if I do return to the human world, I doubt I can still live a normal life. Plus, there's not one place there, there where I feel I belong. Just as I think of that, I see someone standing at the entrance of the plaza. It's... Who shall we talk to? I think Jupio is the most important now. With her sister in the infirmary. Thank you very much, Sir Shin. Sir Shin. So, here you are. As Jupiel comes towards me, I notice that her eyes are red. Looks like she's been crying. Are you alright? Don't you want to stay by Mariel's side? Yes. It would be out of the question for me to cry forever. She would not want me to do that. I know she's trying to act tough. She's giving herself a pep talk that she won't break. She's doing her best to not let her voice waver. I only have the ability to use power. I'm a muscle head of a god, but I'll do anything to help you. If you'll have a guy like me. I still can't come up with something concerned to say. Unfortunately, after coming to Celestia, this is the one area where I haven't improved. So, all I can do is say what I hope will make her feel better. You know what makes me feel worthless is the best I can do. Thank you very much. I shall do my very best to focus on carrying out my sister's duties on her behalf. Mariel's duties? While my sister is incapacitated, someone needs to assume command of Celestia. It was decided that I shall assume her role on her behalf. So you're gonna be the new commander. Will you really be able to do something as difficult as that? Regarding the work itself, I have always paid close attention to my sister, so I will be able to perform her tasks. 
At least, I hope so. Jupiel, did you have the title of Vice Archangel or Archangel Assistant or something like that? Which reminds me, I know it is an Archangel, but I have seen anyone else in a managerial position. The closest would be a scientist. No. And, to put it simply, none of the angels who currently reside in this Celestia hold such a position. Why not? I'm sure someone here could assist the Archangel. I mean, there's no way that no one here is able to do it. Most of the influential angels have died in our fight against the devils. That is why my sister was selected to be the Archangel. She has the ability to command. As for the other positions, those chosen soon die. How wonderful. I didn't know the situation was so horrible. Please, leave it to me. It is not like I have just been daydreaming this whole time. As the little sister of Archangel Mariel, I shall assume command of Celestia. Please watch me, sister. I shall successfully fulfill your duties on your behalf. And we will be there to aid you in these upcoming battles. I wonder if she's gonna be alright. For some reason, she seems too fired up to me. It's not that I doubt her capability, but will Juvenile be able to lead Celestia like this? I think I've got faith in her. I definitely got faith in her. You useless piece of shit! You bean sprout! Why'd you let those damn angels get away? Well, well, Ian broke through the initial guards, and it took us longer to call for reinforcements, and... This damn failure won't go unpunished! Make the Chief of Security take responsibility! Cut his head off and display it for three days! <laughs> I do not like that kind of punishment. Uh, understood! Damn it! I'm so pissed at those Celestia bastards and at Hian for getting in the way! Ugh, so damn pissed! Lady Phyllis, why don't we reboot that person? How does that sound? Huh? What are you saying? If we reboot something like that, don't you know what'll happen? However, there's no way that thing will lose, even if it's up against Tian or Celestia's god. I believe it can annihilate all of them. Like I said, you're an idiot. Do you know how many devils we lost to seal that thing away? That reject is best left sealed away forever. Also, regarding your statement, you indirectly said we won't be able to beat those angels. You better not tell me you're scared of them. I didn't mean it like that. I just said it thinking it might be a good idea. Ugh. Okay, it's fine, whatever. You're an eyesore. Hurry up and get the hell out of my sight, you dumb shit. Uh, Roger, please excuse me. I feel bad for that double. There's no way I'm ever gonna reboot that thing. I won't even joke about it. Well, Phyllis still has her pawns. Apparently the biggest eyesore Mariel is in critical condition, so those idiots might come in handy. <laughs> Phyllis doesn't use poison only on her needles. I'll show them an even deadlier way to use poison. That reminds me, what did happen to Ian? Last we saw, we knocked him clean off his face. Just knocked him out. And we don't even know what happened to him after that. They just walk out? out? I honestly don't know. But there it is, guys. Mission number 10, the freezing shout has been done. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. As always, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you guys go hit that like button on this video. As it only takes one second of your time, and it really helps me out a lot. And as always, if you are liking this series, and you are new to the channel, or the series in general, and just want to make sure you're kept up to date with these videos, make sure you have subscribed. Now, until next time, this is Smiling Dread 4 signing out. Have a great rest of your day, my friends, and take care. There it is.